help me, please. Who taught Caleb the resurrection ritual? To say it was taught would mean he'd learned it. He read it off a page. As a sorcerer, Caleb makes a fine cobbler. Thing about Caleb, he was a good listener. As he worked, clients would bend his ear. The Haskell boy, for one. As Caleb pinned the governor's shoes, young Lammy would talk magic. N nonsense, really. But Caleb was listening. Wait. Lammy Haskell gave Caleb the resurrection ritual. After Lammy mentioned the ritual, Caleb became obsessed with it. He begged. Lammy, in his misplaced generosity, gave it. Caleb was intent on dark work. Lammy furnished written instructions. Caleb's letter changed your life. How did it feel at the time? He tore me in two. I loved Alexander. But I deserved to marry a man who would be true. Caleb seemed decent. I, I believed he loved me. I thought I'd married the better brother. But I'd married a liar. A liar and a devil. And yet, not even he deserves this. No one deserves this. How did Caleb treat you? With adoration. I was an idol. Worshipped, yet unloved. He was the sculptor and I was the statue. Smiling down, unmoving from my pedestal with nothing to say. Now I'm sewn into a festering sack with the quivering remnants of my husband and the angry ghost of his dead brother. Please, let me out. I'll be leaving you alone for now. Alone? If only. Ruth. Your husband Caleb's botched resurrection ritual brought you back, but allowed his brother Alexander to take you hostage. Once we deal with the Watson brothers, you shall be free to ascend. Do what you must. I'll suffer it if it leaves me free to go. No! We can stay. Please, Ruth, let us stay. Look at you. Your counterfeit, a sham of a thing. Your so-called life is no life at all. Caleb lied and stole your love. But when the time was right, you lied and stole his body. We're ending this nonsense now. Alexander, you were wronged, but Ruth owes you not. Not her life, nor her death. I'm not my brother. I am the man who runs into the burning house. Ruth owes us nothing, but my love is true, and his is not. Your love is not measured by what you win. It's measured by what you're willing to let go. I... I'm sorry, Ruth. You deserved better. Better than him. Better than me. Send me away, Banisher. Let the devil stoke the flames of hell for me. And we'll see if I burn. Take your head out your arse, you're not that important. Right, hold still, both of you. Let me pry you all apart. Leave forever.
Are they gone? Am I speaking with the cobbler, Caleb Watson? That you, Caleb? I, I, I think... Uh, yes, that's me. Or it, it was me, once. For my bastard brother was my hollow keeper. You're not entirely innocent, though. If you'll permit the unfortunate expression, there was more than one of you in it. I... You were in it too. He ruined my name, ruined my flesh, ruined my wife. You gave him a pat on the cheek of his arse and, and sent him on his way. I am an, an imperfect man. My brother was a bastard and, and sly and he tricked you onto his side. What does that make you? I too am an imperfect man. I have mercy and patience in limited supply. Let's not test those limits further, eh? Help. What? No! no. Caleb. Alexander, yours is no romantic fable. There is no moral to this tale. You're a hostage taker, nothing more. No, Caleb can go to hell, for he well deserves it. But Ruth and I are in love. Greedy men fight over a woman as if she were a thing. I'm done with that old story. Time to tell a better tale. Ruth is free to go. I shall have my rest now. Thank you. Shadow casts no more. Go in peace. Are they gone? Am I speaking with the cobbler, Caleb Watson? I, I, I think... Uh, yes. You're not entirely innocent, though. My brother deserved damnation, and you gave it to him. I am an imperfect man, but, uh, but if you're considering the same for me, I'll not go without a fight. I too am an imperfect man. I have mercy and patience in limited... Help me. We what do we not look at? Caleb... Caleb Watson, your past saving. We can but grant you the mercy of oblivion. But, but what about me? What about Ruth? Ruth is free to go. I shall have my rest now. Thank you. The line twixt love and hate is thin and easily crossed, especially between brothers. None are better placed to wound than your own blood. That was something. Don't take it to heart. Their choices are not your business. Our choices are my business. And their consequences too. Our love story shall have a better ending. I shall be as I was before, as if I'd never gone away.